Big Bang was not an explosion. An explosion is when you have stuff concentrated in one region of space and the rest of space is empty. Then the stuff flies through space to other regions. Instead of a three-dimensional space, let's look at two dimensions, a flat plane. The plane is really infinite, but we'll only look at a small part of it. We add some particles in one location, and then they move through space. Now, for the Big Bang, the particles are not gathered in one location. Instead, they are spread out all over space, everywhere. This time, the particles are not moving through space, so let's pretend that they were glued to the plane. They can't move, just wiggle. When space itself expands, the particles stay glued to the plane, but the plane stretches. The particles didn't move through space, they moved along with space. So the Big Bang was not an explosion, but an expansion. Now, remember that we're only showing two dimensions. You may have seen a similar visualization where instead of an infinite flat plane, we have a curved universe that closes back on itself, like the surface of a balloon. The region outside the balloon, or inside, is not part of the universe. It's nothing, which is different from the universe itself being empty. If you live in the balloon universe, you cannot leave the surface. There is nowhere to go. Okay, so we can still put stuff in one location and have an explosion where particles move through space. But for a Big Bang, we again have particles spread out all over space, everywhere. As before, the particles are glued onto the balloon, so they cannot move along the surface. But the surface can expand. So the problem with the balloon metaphor is that it looks like it's expanding into something, but there's nothing to expand into. It's just how we uh, visualize a two-dimensional surface. Personally, I think it's less confusing to think in terms of a flat plane, as we already did. For more videos on relativity and quantum physics, go to physicsisnotweird.com.